good coffee is really good anyway thanks for coming back and thanks for watching my video I appreciate please before we start anything if you haven't subscribed subscribe hit the like button anyway we I was gonna talk about what's a good business then I said well why don't I talk about my own business I've been in same business pretty much since 1990 I bought this uh, business from a guy a doctor that his kid had decided to have a 25 minute photo lab and he built the whole business for him but kid as being a spoiled rich kid he basically after a few months said you know what I'm going to Hawaii I'm I don't want to get into this now anyway uh, so we bought the business uh, one of the things that I had to do is start working myself in the business and because I came from a background of film processing and printing um, and I work for other people so I knew how to do it but just running a owning a business in America uh, first time it's not that easy so we got the business we maintained the same client uh, we added some other stuff I'm, I'm very ambitious about what I try to do I go over the board and I added some more stuff I had some new client, then I opened a second location, but my first location I had problem with employees, and basically I just closed the first location, just focused on the second one. That's how I did it, because I didn't want to waste money and time trying to fix the thing, because it, there was no reason to do it. And I was coming from retail, going to commercial, which means I wasn't dealing with the retail that much so I went to the commercial side of it and my business gradually changed to wide format printing in 1998 I mean prior to that I bought a Peterson publishing lab in uh, Los Angeles I actually broke that down and sold part of it to another business part of it to myself Basically, I added to the business. Uh, then I made lots of changes. I mean, we spent in 30 years millions in that place. I would literally could tell you easily, easily, uh, we spent about 12 to 15 million dollar at pixel imaging uh, because of the technology uh, improving. We want to add some other stuff. And uh, I'm kind of a, one of those guys that love the gadget, okay? But the gadget makes money. These gadgets are making money for me all the time. I mean, there's an up and down, but it's all the time. But just being, what is a good business or how you can do the business? Uh, I try to stay on top of it. I get involved in everything myself. Uh, I know enough to be dangerous. That's where the problem I have. Uh, but at the same time, I try to have limited competition because I, I kind of specialize in some stuff and I try to over exceed my customer service with people. And I have a saying that I have two rules. Rule number one, customer is right. Rule number two, if the customer is wrong, go back to rule number one. So, anyway, that's the way it got going, but what I'm trying to say, if you want to open a business and stay in business, a small business, it's totally acts different than a large corporation. In a small business, first of all, you got to have some sort of plan, but when you start the business, you should not get stuck with that plan because the plan has to be changed. If you want to be successful in a, bi a small business, you need to be very flexible. 
you can't just go with the ABC because it will bam it will just kill you second of all you need to be on top of it 724 being a small business owner it doesn't mean that you know what you can take vacations you can do this and that I know lots of people they try to do it open a small business but then they had other issues like you know they needed to take their weekend off they really wanted to go home by five o'clock there's no such a thing as five o'clock I mean I work 724 anytime customer wants it I'm there doesn't matter rain or shine I'm there it doesn't matter what happens and I do charge premium as I said before I'm not cheap I'm expensive but there is a service I provide that is well worth it and some of I mean the customers that they come to me they're willing to spend that money they're willing to spend the money anyway so in business you become very flexible you need to be on top of it you need to know your people and the most valuable number one most valuable things in your business is your employee second one is your customer and the third one is you so you got to make sure these three they are all in line they are sinking basically if I take care of my employees they're going to take care of my customer and the customer is going to take care of me and if I fail in any of these things bam it's it's out the door so there is no good or business good or business it all depends on you anyway let's uh we're not going to too much talk about it today we'll talk in another sessions but please go ahead and subscribe have a great weekend and by the way my weekend was I mean have a great week coming my weekend was great went up to Santa Monica spent some time with friends and family and everything was great uh, and I wish everyone a good night or a good day or and good week and thanks a lot and don't forget don't forget again watch time I need you guys to watch my videos just put it on watch time you can just turn off the volume it's okay with me just I want that watch time and I appreciate and uh, enjoy it